Good morning, YouTube. How you doing this morning? It's super cold. So we're gonna try and get in the shop and uh, get to working on Fox One. Not what I expected, honestly, <laughs> not at all. How are you guys doing? Uh, so, as you seen yesterday, we got the uh, spindles built, and uh, now we have to weld the spindle, the bottom spindle, onto the ball joint here because I can't get a bolt on there. I can't see the spindle. It's fine. The spindle's over here. So we have the spindle here, as you can see. Uh, it looks like it's not straight, and it's not, but it's not. It's not straight for a reason. That's the only way I can get the angle I wanted out of it. So I gotta finish weld these. So I gotta take out this hub out of this bearing housing and weld the other side of this because I couldn't weld it. I can only weld this side. So I gotta weld the other side of that and finish weld this on both of these and then grind this flat so I can weld it in over here on this lower. I can't get a bolt down here because I just can't. It's just not possible. So I don't feel like re-threading it and doing all that work, I just weld it on it. When it dies, I'll just change it. You're gonna use these for the shack mounts, the top part. They cut them out a little bit, make them a little, not so, uh, so big. Don't need them so big. Um, yeah. Let's get to it.
so crappy.
So, as you see uh, from the footage, we, we finally got the front relatively close to being done. Um, we still have to put on the uh, steering. That's going to be done tomorrow, but it's kind of hard to do it without the snow snowmobile torn apart. So we're probably going to have to tear apart that, that uh, 340 Cheetah to get the parts we need for this. But um, this thing has crazy good, uh, like, almost like hydraulics, but it's like we could probably hit anything. And it just jumps right back up. Like, that's it. I tried to bottom it out. That's it. <laughs> so I think I think it's pretty strong. And this is just tack welded. I haven't even like finished welded that front end yet. So once it's finished welded, she's gonna be uh, she's gonna be able to take some jumps. I think. I'll gusset. I still gotta gusset this area. I gotta gusset. Fill this area. Fill this area. Uh, and put some gussets on here. These pieces that I cut off, actually. These pieces I cut off of this uh, thing are going to go on like this. I want to notch these out so that I can slide it on like that. And uh, yeah, just to give that a little bit more reinforcement there and connect it to this. I might tie it into this somehow. I don't know. I don't think that's possible without messing with them screws. So. Yeah, I'll just probably put it like this, custom make these fit like that, then weld those up just to reinforce that bracket. I might cut this off, fold it forward, and weld it up as well just to make, I want this to be like really, really strong here because it's like, it takes a lot of beating, and I want to be able to handle that beating pretty good. So, yeah, pretty stout, pretty happy with it. It's been one week, you know, week one, so day seven. I'm building this thing. Coming along pretty quick. Well, no. Oh,